hi everybody it's abimor one and this is my third time doing this it keeps saying arrow anyway i'm going to try one last time before i go to bed i just came from a wonderful wonderful women's service but before i go to bed i want to share with you very quickly a surprise that i got today a delightful surprise it was around 10 minutes to three or so when I heard my principal calling for me on the PA system at school. When I went in the office, she was there, of course, um, along with the two students with whom I went to Nassau last week, Friday. I had no idea what they were up to. I was just looking and asking what's going on. Anyway, the principal handed them the mic, well, one and then the other. And do you know, they had written two lovely poems for me I'm going to um, bring them. Well, one of them said hers from memory and the other one used a paper. But they wrote two lovely poems for me, thanking me for working hard with them and encouraging them um, to believe that they could. And not only did they write those poems and, you know, thanked me from within, but they also put together and got me a gift certificate am i holding this right yeah a gift certificate from john bull and i thought that was so sweet for 55 dollars remember they had gotten some money i didn't expect anything you know anything at all and so i just thought it was such a wonderful wonderful gesture um and so of course i had to make a response i told them you know i'm just very proud of them and and so grateful that they would um, even think of doing this and I told them that it's my pleasure to continue to help them to shine yeah so that was so nice I thought I would share share it with my YouTube family I also want to talk a little bit because I'm so excited about the service tonight um, there's one thing that really stood out several things but one main thing that stood out um, in the sermon tonight um, the, the preacher's topic was, um, you know, standing up, I, it, it, it was a bit lengthy, but, um, the gist of it is to stand up, you know, stand up for what you believe in, stand up no matter what, you know, the obstacles and all of that, continue to trust in God and to stand. She used the three Hebrew boys and, um, Daniel as a foundation and, the rima that stood out to me tonight was when she said the three hebrew boys they were put in the fiery furnace and you know they needed god they had such faith they had declared that even if he doesn't come through for us we're not bowing to any idols but anyway this is how she paraphrased this she said um God called Gabriel. He said, Gabriel, how long do you think it will take you to go down there and help them? Because my children need me. Gabriel, um, Gabriel said, only two minutes, only about two minutes. God said, no, that's too long. They need me. I need to be there for them. How long do you think you can take, Gabriel? Gabriel said, um, Michael, sorry. Michael said, it will only take me one minute. <laughs> God said, that's still too long. He called Jesus. And you know what Jesus' response was? Jesus was like, I'm already there, you know. And we went crazy when we heard that. And I just want to use this tool to encourage you that God never and will never leave us. He's God and he cannot lie. If you're a born again believer and follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's what you believe and I encourage you like she encouraged us, hold on to that. Hold on to your faith because God has never gone anywhere. He's God and he cannot lie. And so even sometimes when we don't feel him, even when so many things come up against us and it seems like he can't be here and all of this is happening, hold on to him. Hold on to him because all throughout the word, he tells us how to handle these situations. Don't be fearful. Don't lose heart endure hold on all right it reminded me also of the very first sermon that i wrote um i think it's entitled um 
hold on to the legacy of your the legacy of faith or something but it just reminds me to hold on i'm i'm convinced i mean there's nothing that anybody can do with me i'm just convinced of my god whether i am going through something or not i'm not saying that i might not cry i might not feel down but i'm saying inside that conviction that's there to stay i encourage you tonight to also stand no matter what god bless you everybody good night